Hello and welcome to this module for our course. We'll dive into protecting sensitive information within containerized environments using Podman. The Podman Storage module provides an essential overview of managing secrets in containerized applications. It covers the entire life cycle of secrets, including creation, updating, and management. You will also engage in a live demonstration using Podman to create and manage secrets. Podman secrets provide a secure way to store and manage sensitive data, such as passwords, tokens, SSH keys, and certificates, within containers. Storing sensitive information directly in container images or passing it explicitly via the command line poses significant security risks. This practice can inadvertently expose critical data, such as passwords, tokens, SSH keys, and certificates, to unauthorized users. Container images are often shared and reused, making it easy for sensitive information embedded within them to be accessed by unintended parties. Similarly, command line arguments can be visible in process listings, which can be exploited by malicious users. Therefore, secure methods for handling sensitive information, such as using secrets management tools, are crucial to safeguard application security and prevent data breaches. Secrets allow you store the sensitive information outside the container and add them at runtime. This enhances security by reducing the risk of exposing sensitive information. Secrets are stored outside the container file system, making it more difficult for unauthorized users to access sensitive data. Reduces the risk of sensitive data being exposed in container images or logs. Secrets can be used in different environments, testing, production, development, without changing the container code. Podman provides a simple interface for managing secrets, making it easy to create, update, and share sensitive information securely across containers without modifying container images or application code. Managing secrets centrally in Podman simplifies credential rotation and policy enforcement. Regularly rotate secrets to minimize the impact of potential compromise. Only add secrets to containers that absolutely need to access them, minimizing the potential attack surface. Managing secrets with Podman involves a few key commands that facilitate the secure handling of sensitive information. The Podman secret create command allows users to create a new secret, storing sensitive data securely. Once created, the Podman secret ls command lists all the secrets currently available, providing an overview of the stored secrets. To delve into the details of a specific secret, the Podman secret inspect command can be used, offering a closer look at the secret's attributes without exposing the sensitive content. Finally, the Podman secret rm command enables the removal of secrets that are no longer needed, ensuring they are securely deleted from the system. Podman provides versatile options for creating secrets from various sources to ensure sensitive information is securely managed. Using the command podman secret create hyphen hyphen driver equals file, users can create a secret from a file, storing its content securely. Alternatively, the command printf to create a secret directly from a string input. For enhanced security, the podman secret create hyphen hyphen driver equals pass command leverages the pass driver to create secrets from GPG encrypted files. Additionally, users can create environment variable based secrets using podman secret create hyphen hyphen driver equals file hyphen hyphen env equals true followed by environment variable, which pulls sensitive data from specified environment variables. Podman offers two primary methods for injecting secrets into containers, type equals mount and type equals env. The type equals mount option mounts the secret into the container as a file, allowing applications to access sensitive information through the file system. This method is the default option and is useful for scenarios where applications are configured to read configuration or secret data from files. On the other hand, the type equals env option exposes the secret as an environment variable within the container. This approach is suitable for applications that are designed to read configuration data from environment variables. Next we will look at each of them in detail. When injecting secrets into a container as a file, the target option is used to specify the target path within the container where the secret will be accessible. This method mounts the secret as a file at the specified location, allowing the application to read it directly from the file system. 
By default, if no target path is specified, Podman mount secrets under the slash run slash secrets slash directory followed by the secret name. This approach ensures that sensitive data is securely stored in a predictable location within the container, facilitating easy access for applications configured to read from specific file paths. When injecting secrets as environment variables, the type equals env option is used to specify the type as environment variable. This method exposes the secret directly through an environment variable, making it easily accessible to applications that read configuration or sensitive data from environment variables. By setting the target parameter, users can define a specific variable name, ensuring that the secret is securely passed to the container's runtime environment. In this demo, we begin by preparing for container deployment by searching for and downloading a MariaDB image. We then create a directory for managing secrets and populate it with files containing database credentials. These files are converted into secrets using Podman Secret Create, and we verify their creation and inspect specific details as necessary. Next, we deploy a MariaDB container with the initial root password secret and verify its deployment status before removing it. Subsequently, we repeat the deployment process to include multiple secrets for enhanced security. After verifying and cleaning up the containers and secrets, we explore file mounting as a secret within a new MariaDB container to demonstrate additional security configurations. Finally, we perform a cleanup by removing all containers and associated secrets, concluding the demo. So we'll start off this demo by first searching for a MariaDB image. And as you can see, we have multiple hits, I'll use the one from Docker Library. And now I will use the podman pull command in order to download the image locally. As you can see, the polling has started. The downloading is commencing. And it has been finished. Now, I'll create a directory called secrets. I will change directory to it. Now, I will use the echo -n command to output the name Andre to the file called db underscore user txt. I'll use the same command to also echo my db to a file called db underscore name txt. I would use the command again in order to echo Red Hat to a file called db underscore pass .txt. I will echo Red Hat again to another file called db underscore root underscore pass .txt. Now that all the files have been created, I will use the podman secret create command to create a secret called db user. The secret will be based on the file called db user .txt. Now I will use the podman secret ls command and we can see all our created secrets from files. And lastly, I will use the podman secret inspect command to inspect a specific secret, more specifically db underscore name and we can see details regarding this specific secret. Now, I will use the podman run command to create a container running in attach mode with the minus d option. The name of the container will be mydb, and I will use the minus minus secret option to pass the secret db underscore root underscore pass as an environmental variable on the target, which is mysql underscore root underscore password within the container. As we can see, the container has been created. And now I will use the podman ps command to list all running containers, and we can see the container is running adequately. I will remove the container with the podman rm minus f command. And now I will create another container again, called mydb. And now I will pass multiple secrets to it. First, I will pass the db underscore root underscore pass as an environmental variable called mysql underscore root underscore password. I will connect to the container using the podman exec command with the minus it option and list the environment variables using the env option. And here I will check if the variables have been declared. So the secrets have been passed successfully. I will remove the container with the podman remove minus f command to remove the container called mydb. Then I will use the echo command with the minus n option to output the word mount testing to a file called mount underscore me. 
I'll create a secret from this particular file, and the secret will be called mount underscore secret. And now I will use the same podman run command in order to pass this particular file, this particular secret, more specifically within the container. I'll connect to the container again using the podman exec command. We can see mount file is outputted on this screen. So the secret was passed successfully as a file within the container. Finally, let me clean up the lab. So, congratulations. This concludes our demo. We have created a containerized MariaDB and we passed the credentials using secrets and also mounted a file within that database as a secret. So congratulations. This concludes our module and the next module, we shall look at running multi-container applications.